What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lockdown Coverage. My name is Dana, if you guys are new to the channel. Before I get started on any segment today, I wanted to first thank every single one of my subscribers, all 120 of you. I just passed the 100 subscriber mark, so I wanted to say thank you real quick and first off and foremost. Um, on this episode, we're going to be covering a way, way too early top five power ranking. So this is a team power ranking. This is for the 2020 season. I'm going to be giving you my top five, what teams I think are going to be dominant in the 2020 season. Some teams might surprise you, some teams might not, but let's get into it real quick. On my way too early 2020 NFL power rankings, at number five on the list, I have the Buffalo Bills. Bills Mafia, Bills Nation, get pumped because you guys are genuinely, I genuinely think you guys are going to be one of the best football teams in 2020. A lot of people may be surprised about this, but I'm calling it out here first. You guys write me down so you guys can hate in the comment section later. But hopefully if they stay healthy, I think they will be a dominant football team in 2020. They have third year quarterback Josh Allen coming into a groove. This man is a beast. He might have a little uh, accuracy issues, but he could run the ball. He had over nine touchdowns rushing the ball last year, nine touchdowns. He could throw the ball 70 yards downfield. He's only gonna get better in my opinion. They're only gonna get better. They have a lot of cap space. The only thing they're needy for is maybe a few key pieces on defense because they might be getting a little too old and wide receivers. And this draft class, if you guys have kept up with, with all of our episodes, is deep, deep out wide receiver. So they are stacked on defense, especially. They have Brandon Phillips. They have Tredavian White, Tredavious White. They have Micah Hyde. They have Ed Oliver, who's gonna be in a second year groove. They are stacked around the board. They are underrated. They're gonna get respect. And the most important part, Tom Brady is leaving. Tom Brady might be leaving the New England Patriots even if he stays. I think they will be a little dysfunctional for the first time in 20 years. Like for the first time in my existence, I'm 21 years old. So the Bills have a chance. I think the Jets are too young. I think the Dolphins are still gonna be rebuilding a little bit next year. They might finish uh, below, a little bit below 500, but they'll be better. But still the Bills are by far the best team. So that is my number five ranking. Let's move on to number four. Number four on my way to early NFL power rankings are the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans Saints, this should not be a surprise by anyone. As long as Drew Brees was returning, they were going to be a top five team, just like they were last year. They have a great offensive line. They have a good defense. They are stacked at every key position. They have a great left tackle, Eric Armstead. They have a great rushing, Cameron uh, Jordan. They have a quarterback. They have Alvin Kamara, who played bad last year. He could bounce back and have that bounce back year that everyone was expecting to have last year when Mark Ingram left there. He's going to get the workload or the bulk of the workload. They have Michael Thomas. They have the best wide receiver in the game by far. Broke the receptions record last year with, I believe, a, over 143, That because that was the record. They're stacked. They have Marcus Lattimore across the board. They're amazing. The Saints will be back in the playoffs. If it wasn't for the past three years of them having awful luck in the playoffs, either with uh, offensive, uh, defensive pass interference, uh, offensive pass interference, uh, the Minnesota Miracle, they have just been so unlucky. I feel awful for New Orleans fans. But since Drew Brees is returning, I don't know if this is going to be his last year. I personally think it might be his last year, especially if they make it to the Super Bowl and they make a run. Hopefully they, they can get to the Super Bowl because they've been so close. Like they could literally taste it. I could taste it. So the Saints are going to have another bounce back year. I think they're still one of the best teams. They have key players all around the board. Number three team on my way to early NFL power rankings are the San Francisco 49ers. This might surprise a few of you, especially if you're a 49ers fan, but I think the only thing that's holding back San Francisco, and it's not a bad thing, but it's Jimmy Garoppolo. Unless Jimmy G takes that next step to become that real, and when I say real, I mean a real franchise quarterback that can make the plays to win you the games in the important games, not just in the regular season, but in the playoffs, in the Super Bowl, the 49ers had by far the best rushing attack in the NFL last year. It made Jimmy G look so good. They ran so many play actions off it, and he found wide receivers open downfield way too often. Way too often. Like, when I say way too often, I mean I've never seen uh, wide receivers, or George Kittle especially, be open downfield that often. It's because they ran the ball 150 yards a game. Their defense was dominant, so they had time of possession. Their defense always had rest, and they were always rested. I need Jimmy, D, Jimmy G to show me 
that he could be that franchise quarterback and that if if he was then san francisco would be number one on this list no question in my mind but since he isn't i still think they have a few other issues they are getting old that cornerback uh they do have a revolving door at running back hopefully eric mostert could be that player that franchise running back even though he is older as well but they are stacked across the board jimmy g get better if you want them to be number one if you want them to be a dynasty because jimmy g is young and they have him to a wild extension so they have to work with him they can't just cut him or trade him uh he's gonna be that franchise quarterback for san francisco i think they'll, they're in good hands but to win the super bowl jimmy g has to be better at number two and this was a tough decision uh but i'm gonna have to go with the baltimore ravens Baltimore is set up to be a prime playoff contending team throughout the next 10 years. They have a 22 year old MVP who is Lamar Jackson. Think about this, Lamar Jackson is younger, won the MVP at one year younger than potential first overall pick Joe Burrow who won the Heisman Trophy. So Joe Burrow is 23 and he won the Heisman. Lamar Jackson is younger than Joe Burrow and he already has the MVP under his belt. That Ravens offense is explosive. That I don't know why people were so low coming into the draft on Lamar Jackson. Even though he's not a pure passer, he can still get the ball down the field. He will only improve. His deep ball needs to get better. His accuracy needs to get better. But he still, he still won the MVP at 22. And he still has problems. He still can improve, which is ridiculous to think of. But he had over 1,200 yards rushing. That read option backfield is impossible with Mark Ingram. Imagine if they added even another running back. Imagine if they added another running back to take the bulk or the workload off of Lamar Jackson and he only needed to run in those key uh, third down conversions, on those key fourth down conversions, on those key goal to go conversions. They would save Lamar Jackson. That is the only worry I have is whether Lamar Jackson takes too big of a workload and potentially gets injured. Obviously, you don't want that on any player. But with the amount of carries that they are giving him, especially last year, he could have that happen to him. He could fizzle out before he even turns 30. So unless he becomes that pure pocket passer and only runs when he needs to, I think he, they need to maybe get another running back in that backfield because that offense is too explosive. That secondary that they have with Marcus Beaters and Marlon Humphreys, they're explosive. Their offensive line is phenomenal. They need also wide receivers. They have Hollywood Brown who played phenomenal his rookie year. They need more weapons for Lamar Jackson. They have Mark Andrews at tight end. So they are set. They're going to be a top playoff contending team throughout the foreseeable future. And then number one on my list of my way too early NFL power rankings are the Kansas City Chiefs. Defending Super Bowl Kansas City Chiefs. And for the one reason and one reason only that Patrick Mahomes is the best player I have ever seen play in the NFL. And I'm saying it here first that if he continues this, traje this trajectory throughout his NFL career, he will surpass, in my opinion, Tom Brady as the best quarterback of all time. He's been that good at the position. He's not even 25 years old, I don't think. And he already has a Super Bowl and a Super Bowl MVP. And he's putting up crazy numbers at this age. Imagine he's still going to get better. He's still going to be able to read defenses better. He's still going to be able to adjust. He's still going to be mobile because he's young. So his mobility is going to be key in his career. Because I remember this past season when he was injured and he had ankle injury, he wasn't as good when he had to sit in the pocket. He is best outside of the pocket. But my point being is that he is clutch under pressure. He can make every throw you want him to make. He could run the ball if he has to. He could get out of the pocket. He could throw the ball 80 yards downfield. I wouldn't be surprised if he could throw further than 80 yards. He is the best player. The Kansas City Chiefs will be a dynasty as long as Mahomes stays healthy and they surround him with key pieces like Tyree Kill and explosive playmakers as long as their defense was competitive like it was in that super bowl like it was at towards the end of the year towards that playoff they had chris jones they had tyron matthew making plays they didn't give up 400 yards of offensive game so patrick mahomes didn't have to score 30 plus and look at what they did uh, on a year where patrick mahomes had an off year he was injured for a few games he wasn't playing like himself for most of the year and then look what happened in the playoffs he threw four to three touchdown passes every game with ease no turnovers he is a amazing football player i think the chiefs are set to be the next dynasty the next patriots they will have to go through they would be the best team through the afc 
No one will be able to beat them, in my opinion, as long as Patrick Mahomes stay healthy. Those are my way too early NFL power rankings. Make sure if you guys like this video to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or concerns, be sure to comment in the comment section. I will get back to everyone because that is what I do. Uh, make sure you guys stay active and more videos are coming later on throughout the week. Thank you guys.